Howdy, ladies and gentlemen of the YTPC. And those that don't belong to the YTPC as well. Treetop Piper coming back at you. Smoking um, some of that Cornell and Deal Virginia Flake. I'm really quite surprised how quickly I've been blowing through those those pack or those uh, blends. The small batch, the Virginia Flake, the Bow Carry. I've been taking a lot of pressure off of my more rare blends. And that is always welcome. Always welcome. You know, if I can find easy to find blends or, or discover easy to find blends that are cheap, always there and enjoyable, more power to me as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, I enjoy a lot of rare blends by companies like Germain's and stuff, but. A lot of headaches come with those kind of blends. And when you find something that you really like, that's easy to come across, it is a good thing. It's a great thing. More power, like I said, more power to you, you know, because some of those other blends, they're just can be headaches. But anyway, um, I guess we'll start with this one first. It's from Smoking Pipes. Some stuff, looks like some stuff I ordered. Like uh, earlier this week. Mm. A pouch of Carter Hall. I don't know why this has been selling so crazy on smoking pipes, but it was in their top 100 and it was four bucks. I've never had it. So I figured, uh, you know, what, how can I lose? And it's almost like a pack of cigarettes, the way it's wrapped with cellophane. Anyway, um, kind of, kind of curious to see how this goes, um, because I do enjoy um, tobaccos that are straight up, you know, Virginias and Burley. I mean, you know, I can enjoy Burleys too, but. Something like this that's very simple and has been around for this long. There must be a reason, you know, it must be a, a good a good tobacco, you know, just, just a smoke. Maybe not blow your hair back, but a good smoke, you know, uh, something that you can uh, chooch on any time, I guess. You know, that that's kind of where I was going with that. And I haven't tried it, so. <laughs> but they also <clears throat> still had some of that Foxhound blend in stock. So I've got another one of those so I can do a first impression and still have one in the cellar. And then last but not least, I've had a request for this from Ghost Cob. And they had it in stock and it's the Mad Fiddler Flake. Um, so I ordered a tin of this to do a first impression on the Mad Fiddler Flake for uh, my brother Ghost Cob. He wants uh, my opinion on that, which I'm grateful to give. requests are always welcomed on this channel always okay no this one's from eBay seen a box like that actually. but this was really cool because I was trying to get a tin like this like a 50 gram tin for a little while I wanted to get a tin that had the painted lid of golden sliced I want to you know I was thinking I wanted to get the square one but I missed out on pipe studs they sent me one of the ones it was a square tin but it had a sticker rather than the painted tin I wanted the painted tin so anyways, I was messing around on eBay, and I seen this guy that was selling a square tin and a round tin, the 50 and 100 gram. The 50 gram tin was 50 bucks, and the 100 gram tin was 60. 
it did make sense, you know, and they were both painted t the painted top. I'm like, that just makes sense, man, you know. So of course, it, you know, I opted for the twice as much tobacco, S small amounts of surface rust on the uh, tin itself, but there is just a hefty amount of tobacco in there. And OGS is a uh, classic, you know. You cannot go wrong. And look, look how much this tin cost back in the day: six dollars and eighty cents. That's how old this thing is. Uh, I bet this is from the late '90s, early 2000s. And you know, it says that it it's not it's not uh, Perique that it has in it. It says this delightful blend is composed of golden and full-bodied Virginia tobaccos with a touch of burley. Um, so it says burley and Virginias. Anyway, I also like I said, I got um, a painted tin. Or, or, or a sticker tin, square tin of OGS. So what I'm going to do is I ordered this one to open and to enjoy being that it's the older one. And I'm going to let the one with the sticker sell her for a few more years, I think. Um, but just a beautiful tin, you know. And I was thinking just a cool tin to add to the collection. You know, not necessarily a sealed tin, but the tin itself that it's painted, it's just a pretty... They're just beautiful tins, you know, and I decided I wanted one. So I bought it, you know. I thought it was a pretty good deal, considering that, that is, it's got to be older than dirt, you know. I mean, it's just got to be, it's got to be old. And not only that, but everything else, the guy, all the other tobaccos he had for sale, he had some Sam Gawas that were pre-banner, pre-red banner, so they were before 2008 or 2009, I think. So, you know, they're at least 10-year-old tins. You know, this guy, the 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 collection that he had, everything was 10 years or older. So I'm thinking that right there is probably just about ready to be opened. The golden sliced, I mean. Mm. And this one very special this I think was is probably the best deal that I got out of all these packages probably one of the better deals I've gotten uh, so far on a pipe other than my Dunhill which there's no such thing as a better deal than free which of course I have to say it again thank you uh, Todd Old bear for the downhill pipe. What we've got here is a Peterson Sherlock Holmes Baskerville. And I do believe that this is from like the original run, or at least from the 90s, because you can't get them in these boxes anymore. Um, these are kind of old. So, anyway, um, Oh, yeah, this is an old Peterson. You know, this is old, very old. You know, probably I'm thinking probably the 90s. And it comes with the little card about the Baskerville. And inside we have the pouch. And let's check this bad boy out. This is a brand new pipe, by the way. Totally unsmoked. Totally unsmoked. And it's got to be quite a few years old, um, seeing how it has the, you know, this kind of box. But the, I've seen others that were this old, where the sterling was all, I'm brand new, never smoked, where the sterling needed work, you know, where somebody needed to polish it. The sterling was not looking too good. And uh, it's also a fishtail. And I was a really big, I am a big fan of the P-Lips, but I realize you can't just smoke P-Lips all the time. Like, P-Lips are more or less for relief from tongue bite from fishtails, but it doesn't mean you can't get palate bite from a P-lip. So I realized that you need a proper ratio of both, you know, to kind of offset each other. You know, if you smoke P-lips too much, you end up killing the roof of your mouth. If you smoke fishtails too much, you end up killing your tongue and your cheeks. So it's like a, I've realized that it's best to trade off. So what I, I, and this was a used one, or not used, it's brand new, never been smoked. But it's, the guy was selling it on eBay, you know. Uh, I bought this for 135 bucks. These smooth ones, brand new today, cost 225 or more. 
This one is an old one, unsmoked, in the original Sherlock Holmes box, with all the original everything. Unsmoked, sterling silver, beautiful grain. I mean, just gorgeous grain. You know, they didn't, these weren't cheesy pipes. You know, these were high, these are high end pipes. And they also have a system reservoir. This isn't a system pipe because it doesn't have the P-lip, but it is a reservoir pipe. Yes, it is. Absolutely. You know, you can, I don't, I doubt you can see the reservoir, but, um, you know, I'm really pleased with how much I paid for this and how good a shape it is. I mean, I, de I probably won't be able to find another one in this, this shape, brand new shape for that price. I mean, really used ones that weren't yeah and this really is a brand new one because you can see the marks from the clamp where they stick that thing in and it pushes out so they can work on it that's peterson left those in there specifically so you could make sure that it was brand new from the factory because people can refurbish pipes and they can make it look brand new but they can't recreate those marks because they have to bore it out and polish it up on the inside so when you see those marks on the inside of the bowl, that means that bad boy is legit, brand new from the factory. Nobody's worked on it. And those marks are in here from the vice that they use. And uh, anyway, like I said, these pipes, you know, to get one at that price, I, I can't even believe it. And I've really been wanting a Sherlock Holmes lately. Look, I'll enjoy it. Mm. Man, and I am digging that that sharp bend in that in that uh, that stem there. I really like I, the probably the next the next pipe I'll get is the deer stalker version of the Sherlock Holmes, and this is just and you know I'll actually I'll have to look at the hallmarks and find out the year because um, the hallmarks. Uh, display the year so i'll be able to find out exactly when this was made too actually which is nice and you know all the uh nomenclature is crisp you know it hasn't been uh sanded down you know it's it's a legit brand new pipe and i'm really pleased with it really really pleased with it already and i was hoping it would get here today you know i was working yesterday and today and uh this just ended up being a perfect little reward for busting ass you know perfect little reward and it was cool too because you know I, I have a I load my trailer up with tree debris and then I go to the dump and I have to unload it by hand I don't have a dump trailer well today one of uh, Orlando's top uh, lawn services Cervello lawn landscaping one of their trucks one of their bobcat trucks was in there and I pulled up next to them, started unloading my trailer. And once they finished, the guy, uh, I think he was Mexican or something, pulled over with the, who was running the Bobcat and asked me if I wanted him to help or him to help me unload my trailer. I said, hell yeah, you know, thumbs up. Because I was thinking, man, it's going to suck having to drag everything out. I mean, it would take forever. I had a ton of debris, literally a ton worth of debris in the trailer. And the guy pulled it all out for me with this Bobcat in like half a minute. You know, so I ran over and gave him 10 bucks. I had to, you know, and it, but the guy didn't do it for that reason. He did it because I'm a landscaper too, or in that field, I'm a tree guy, but they're tree guys, and landscaping guys. They cross each other's grounds many times. Sometimes tree guys do hedges, sometimes landscaping guys trim trees, you know, they're very close together. You know, they're very similar occupations. And that's how I actually do like um, being a part of the, uh, of the landscaping and tree work, uh, field, because it is almost like a brotherhood. I mean, I didn't know those guys from Adam. I've never spoken to a guy who worked for Cervello. I've heard, I've worked with guys who worked for that company, but the fact that guy went out of his way, they were probably at the end of their day. So any extra time was just them getting home later. So the fact that that guy, even though it only took a minute or two, but the fact that he took those couple minutes out of his day to do that, it just, it was really nice. It was really, I was really appreciative. I ran over and gave him 10 bucks. And at first he didn't want to take it. He was sitting in the Bobcat about to load it up on the trailer. But he like 
took his hand off the joystick and I just shoved that ten dollar bill in his hand and he goes, We'll get some we'll get some beers and I said, Hell yeah, man, y'all have a nice day and I go go running back to the truck. But that's how he justified it. He said, Shit, we'll just stop and get some, you know, the whole crew we'll we'll get a we'll get a case of beers or something, you know. He was that's kinda how he justified accepting that money from me. But um it was cool. I just thought it was awesome that the guy did that for me. But anyway, um this doesn't actually have anything to do with pipe tobacco, but I ordered the new raspberry pie. I don't know if any of you guys mess with programming or mess with any type of uh, uh, computer stuff like that. Well, I have a, I use a raspberry pie for a Cody, my Cody app, um, so I can watch uh, TV or I can watch movies and whatever I want for free. You know, it's really awesome. And they just came out with the newest, the newest version, the new, uh, newest version of the Raspberry Pi that I use just came out like less than a week ago, and uh, I ordered one, and it arrived today, and it has the same form factor as the other one, so my case and stuff will fit right into it. But it's faster, and um, also you can power it with an Ethernet cable, which you used to not be able to do. But i um, really excited this came today. I'm waiting on Amazon. I ordered a case for it and a, um, a power cord because this needs a little bit more power than my old one. But I'm going to give the old one to somebody else so they can have free, uh, free TV or free you know, content, free movies and stuff. I mean, these Raspberry Pis, they're basically little motherboards, little computers. This has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and it has the Wi-Fi... Um, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz now this that was an upgrade for this one but um, it has an HDMI input so you can hook it to your uh, TV it I believe it has keyboard uh, or it has a uh, camera ports display ports um, like I said a power over Ethernet uh, prongs it has four USB uh, four USB ports an Ethernet port like I said, like and also Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So I use um, a Bluetooth remote control for this, and uh, also has an SD, a micro SD card slot on the back. So um, you can, that's basically your storage for your operating system, like Raspbian or Jesse. There's a bunch of different operating systems you can run on this, and they're um, just really cool pieces of hardware really really cool and I thought they had been around for a long time these haven't been around that long uh, only since like the after I think 2010 or something like that they started building them and these are made in England these are made in Britain they're not cheesy you can get Chinese the older versions you can get made for, uh, Chinese made ones Japanese made ones Brazilian made ones but the newest ones are only made in England so really high quality stuff anyway um, I know it has absolutely nothing to do with uh, with pipes, but um, it was a package, and I just really think this stuff is cool, and um, that maybe one of you guys, one or two of you guys, might get uh, some use out of this little bit of the video. But anyway, um, that's about it uh, for today for this video. Um, I may come back on later and do a first impression of something. I'm not sure. Kind of a long day yesterday and today, so kind of tired, but um, I may come on later. But anyway, until next time, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, until next time, Treetop Piper, over and out.